Hey folks, Sylvia here. Uh, so this is Leaf 102. I still have not done Leaf 100, so I still don't know what happened in that. Uh, we're following up, finishing up the, well, almost finishing up the Thieves Guild missions. Um, there will be, looks like, two missions left on the, uh, or two videos left dedicated to the Thieves Guild. Uh, and one of them will be a, like, combo with the, uh, the CGB and the Thieves Guild. So... We are on, that was, we just did missions one through four, so we're doing five, six, and seven. All right, mission. Your next mission will lead you to Quanda. There's a hidden smuggler's cave north of town. These smugglers think that they don't have to pay us respect and try to withhold our share of the profits. Recently, they got a hold of a certain valuable goblet. Find them and get us this goblet's rightful payment. If you have to bash some noses during your mission, even better. Relatively easy crap here. So we're off to Port Hope. <clears throat> go to the smuggler cave underneath Taquanda, northwest of Port Hope, then go down the ladder. Okay. Alright, I know where this is. This is a good spot to go if you're trying to get a uh, deer trophy so that you can get uh, the Rashid stuff done. Can I go straight to Port Hope from here? I can. I'm going to go probably pick up a couple of shrooms and, uh, like, one or two spears while I'm away. Um, so, yeah, like, this kind of is in my train of thought, because Leaf 101, I literally just made, end the video, and I'm starting Leaf 102 now. So this is still kind of in my mind, things, uh, and things I didn't understand. This is weird, um, to me, and I'm gonna kind of go off and tell a completely unrelated story and then bring it to my main topic here. So I get a lot of the news through my phone and I use the Yahoo News app. And I was reading, and I don't remember the specific article uh, or what it was about, but it referenced like school lunches, um, which are, you know, the things that when you go to school, you buy like a lunch from the school cafeteria. I, I, I hope everybody kind of understood that. Uh, anyway, the article was about this woman, I guess, and she had, like, nine kids or something, and basically she was, like, a terrible human being and, you know, just in general sucked. And, um, like, kept producing additional children, and a whole bunch of people in the comments were, like, Exotacon. They were not, like, Exotacon. That would have been really weird. Um... <laughs> A whole bunch of people in the comments were like, oh, you should, sh like, people like that should just not get, um, like, free school lunches. Um, because <clears throat> that's a thing you can get. Like, if you have a low enough income, you can just get, uh, free lunches. Or you can also get reduced lunches. Um, and they were kind of like, you know, this lady's probably on food stamps, too. They should just cut her food stamps because she's, like, you know, human trash and wasteful. Um, I get the she's like human trash and wasteful part. Uh, but I see a lot of people make that claim of I'm in completely the wrong way, aren't I? Or no, I'm actually relatively correct in where I'm trying to go. Although we're going to kill that slime. Yo, do... Do slimes not spawn slimes any longer so that I know which one it is. whoa when did that happen <laughs> when did that happen that's crazy I wonder if that's uh, the case I'm trying to think of what else summons uh, copies of itself that I was always annoyed by like attacking the wrong one probably something in Rathleton I gotta check this now Uh, come on. Uh, anyway, yeah, like, the issue I have with that, like, thing, because I see that a lot where people are like, oh, yeah, like, you know, cut the food stamps for these people that, like, keep producing children. If they can't take care of their kids, they shouldn't get food stamps. Uh, I get that, where, like, you don't want to... You don't want to, like, reward the crappy person for doing the crappy thing. But, like, if you don't give the woman who's got five kids, like, free school lunches... What that means is just her kids are going to be hungry. <laughs> like, she's not going to be like, oh, 
now that I'm not getting free lunches anymore, I realize what a failure of a human being I was. Let me, like, fix that, and, you know, we won't have this problem anymore. Uh, in reality, what will happen is just, you know, like, her kids will suffer. Um, which I always kind of thought was, like, an unfortunate outlook people had. Like, likewise with the food stamps, you know, like, I worked at a grocery store. There were definitely people who came in and bought, like, giant platters of shrimp using food stamps. Um, it definitely happened. It didn't happen all that often. Um, you'd be surprised, though, that, like, a lot of times people buy soda with food stamps. Um, that might be something that you find appalling initially, but if you consider this, a store brand thing of... Uh, soda, like a two liter bottle of soda is, could be 69 cents. A store brand thing of apple juice could be $3. Uh, if you're just trying to get, like, this kind of goes in a little bit into the category of my political videos and I'm trying not to actually go there, but like if you're just trying to like give your kids something sweet to drink, um, it's way cheaper to buy soda. Soda is very inexpensive compared to a lot of other things. You wouldn't know that if you're buying it at, like, a restaurant because a glass of soda at a restaurant is, like, $3. Um, but even, like, if we're talking, like, not on sale and we're talking, um, like, national brand, a two-liter bottle of Coke when it's not on sale or Pepsi is, like, around $1.50. Never more than $2 in my area. Um... A like ocean spray cranberry juice, roughly the same size, three fifty four dollars. Uh, like a Mott's apple juice, three fifty four dollars. Um, <clears throat> so it's like it's actually cheaper to buy soda. Um, you kind of get more bang for your buck in that sense. Um, but yeah, like you know, I've definitely seen scummy people that bought like shrimp or you know bought like incredibly expensive steak. Um, I've also, though, like, I've seen other customers, like, scoff and get angry at people who are, uh, you know, using food stamps in front of them. And I've seen people do that for things that are, like, not unreasonable purchases. Like, I, I saw an older gentleman, like, get angry that this woman was buying, like, Oreo cookies. <laughs> um, but she was buying, like, two boxes of Oreo cookies. I mean, like, with one child, that could last maybe a week. If she has more than one child, uh, you know, I don't know, the point is that I kind of got off on a little bit of a tangent there, is you, unlike, unless you're seeing, like, an actual, like, obviously incorrect thing, you probably shouldn't, like, you know, give people crap for, uh, using food stamps. Um... <clears throat> To kind of go off on another mini tangent, um, I have, like, food stamps, which is not something I'm super thrilled about, but hey, it's life. Uh, and I had, when I was at a restaurant, or yeah, a restaurant, when I was at a grocery store, I had a, the gentleman behind me, like, got angry and said something to me about it. Um, and what had happened was, I got all of my groceries. I bought, everything I buy is on sale. I buy store brand stuff. Uh, I'm not, like, you know, buying shrimp. I'm not buying, like, for instance, you can buy margarita mix with a food stamp card. Uh, I'm not buying anything crazy like this, right? Uh, <clears throat> but what I also got was uh, I had a coupon that came in the mail, and it was, like, one free uh, razor up to $9.99. Um... So I was also buying a razor. And the cashier did not understand how to use the coupon because she was a moron. Um, <clears throat> so she didn't get the coupon to work. Uh, so what she did was she manually took off $9.99. But when you manually take prices out of a register like that, you need to hit the department that it's coming out of. So you would hit, like, seafood. I'm store couponing money from seafood to indicate that the the savings are coming from a seafood item. Like, see what I'm saying? Uh, by the way, I'm, I am actually here for a reason. Pick that hat up. 
Um, <clears throat> so the, like, the general way to do it is to do it as a grocery. But a razor is not a grocery item. It's a general merchandise item. And that's relevant for two reasons. Starters, grocery items generally do not have tax. So when you store coupon $9.99 off of grocery, when the item was actually something that has tax, the tax won't come off. If she had store coupon the general merchandise, the tax would have came off. Uh, the tax on a $9.99 item is $0.60. Cents. So, I mean, it is like, you know, almost, it's more than half of a dollar, but still. Uh, the other problem is, though, is that when, like, the food stamps go through on the transaction, the register will automatically subtract any items that aren't eligible for food stamps. So, to kind of go off on a little mini, let me talk to this dude first. Mission. Yes, I finished my mission. The goblet is hardly worth all this trouble, but we had to insist on our payment. However, I assume you're eager for more missions, so just ask. Mission. Alright. The next job will be kidnapping. You'll get us the only creature that this scrupulous trader Theodore Loveless in Liberty Bay holds dear. His little goldfish. To get that fish, you'll have to get into his room somehow. As you might know, I sell lockpicks, but I fear unless you're extremely lucky, you won't crack this expensive masterpiece of a lock. However, get us that fish regardless of how. Alright. Let me just uh, talk about this real quick, because there's two ways to do this. First, let me drink something. Talking uninterrupted like this for extended periods of time makes my throat hurt. Anyway, go to Liberty Bay, go to the jewel shop, northeast corner of Liberty Bay, talk to Chantelle, and ask her for a key. She says it's not possible to bribe her. She also says that Herbert, the postman in Liberty Bay, is easy to bribe. Now go to Herbert and say, hi, letter, gold, yes. He'll take 1,000 gold from you in exchange for a letter. Now head to Venor and find the NPC, Karina. She will sell you a precious necklace for 5,000 uh, gold. Once you have the precious necklace, go back to Liberty Bay and talk to Chantel again, say key, and she'll give you the key. Second method, you wear a post officer's outfit in your helmet slot and talk to Betram if your character is female or Chantel if your character is male to get the key and complete this mission. Note, you must be the arch postman ranked for this to work. And then they just give you the key. So that's why you want to be a postman. I'm glad I've already done the Postman missions, by the way. Because this is... I started doing a different quest and then stopped to do the uh, the Secret Service. And I stopped the Secret Service to do the Thieves' Guild. If I had to stop the Thieves' Guild so that I could start doing the uh, Postman mission, this would be insane. Anyway, so the lady, because she was a moron, she store couponed off as grocery. So... Uh, to go off, like, to explain how registers work, I guess, real quick. When a item is entered into, like, a store's database, so they get, like, a new item, I don't know, banana-flavored soda, right? It gets a UPC, and it gets entered into their system, and then it also has, like, a toggle, essentially, that just, like, toggle this if this item has tax or not, and then toggle this item if it's considered a food product. Because grocery stores, like I said, sell, like, razors and soap and toilet paper and, you know, a whole bunch of other things that... Uh, aren't food sampleable. Um, if you're buying an item that, for instance, soda, which has a tax, when it's a food stamp card, the tax is also removed. You don't pay taxes with food stamps. Um, I'm not really sure the reasoning behind that, but you just don't. Um, anyway, so <clears throat> when you like total up the register, and you bring up you bring up what's called like the food stamp total. So it subtracts all the taxes, and then every item that isn't eligible for food stamps also gets subtracted from this uh, this pricing. Certain things that you would think would be eligible for food stamps aren't. Um, off the top of my head, I'm in the wrong building. I'm pretty confident of that fact right now. Uh, like most energy drinks don't qualify, even though they're food. So, like, you might think you can get, like, a Red Bull or a 5-Hour Energy, but you can't. Um, I also don't think you can get, like, prepared food. So you can get, like, a, you know, a prepackaged sandwich, but I don't think you can get, like, a hot soup or something along those lines. Or, like, a cup of hot coffee. Um, Alright. Time to uh, open a new window on TibiaWiki. Okay. Location found. So, yeah, when she, like, totaled up the, the transaction amount, I like there's a harp sitting here. <clears throat> the, uh, 
the um ugh. because she store coupon it off as grocery the price of the uh the razor stayed on there because the register didn't realize that, that random store coupon for 9.99 that went into the grocery stayed uh was supposed to be like connected to that razor so after my food stamp like card went through there was the remainder of 1060 uh or 1059 left on the transaction uh furthermore the store coupon the 9.99 that she store coupon came out of what should have been paid with the food stamp card so basically she had to cancel the entire transaction ring up all of the items and refund them back onto my card to get the total money back onto the card and then ring up the whole transaction again. Uh, so this took like an extensive period of time and the dude behind me was like not at all happy about this and I kept like, I turned to him and I was like, dude, I'm so sorry about this. Like, there was a problem with the coupon. And he's like, yeah, it's fine. I'm like, alright. But you know, I, I get that the dude's like angry. Oh my, you look so great in your uniform. The Arch Postmen are not only daring, but also handsome. Here, take it. This is the key one. It just promised to visit now and then. The only value that helmet has. Boom. In your haste, you break the key while slipping in. To buy some time while you replace the fish with a piece of carrot. And we have a fish snap thing in here. Let's get out of here. And then back to the thighs. So she's like ringing it up again. It's taking forever. I'm like, you know, I'm really apologetic. And like, she then does the thing wrong again. And she ended up like doing it incorrectly a second time. So we had to do, we had to keep the razor as a like separate transaction from the, all the food items. Uh, and then she still didn't put the coupon through correctly. So she store coupon as a grocery item, again, the $9.99, and then made me swipe my credit card to pay the $0.60 cents tax. But I, like, turned to the dude again and was like, look, I'm really sorry this is happening. Like, it'll be done soon. And I'm trying to, like, tell her how to run the register, too. Uh, and the guy's like, ugh, I'm the one paying for your groceries. It doesn't even matter. I might as well stand here while you buy them, too. I'm like, all right, that's cool. <laughs> like, really sorry, dude. But anyway. Uh, so that was just like a tangent to be like, you know, you probably shouldn't like snap out of people for doing that stuff. But anyway, this all goes back to when I was like, you know, I was putting that point up with the school lunches. Where if, you know, you take the school lunches or the food stamps away from the poor people, the kids are just going to suffer. As a person who like personally doesn't like children, I guess I don't really care if the children do suffer. But I feel like you should probably be aware that when you're like, ah, oh, take the free lunches from that lady. She doesn't deserve them. She's a trashy human being. Her kids will just be hungry, and she's not going to, like, actually learn her lesson. Um, hi, mission. I have, in fact, finished my mission. This little goldfish will bring us a hefty ransom. Just ask me if you're ready for another mission. Yes, sir. Oh, I have to say mission first. We'd like to ease our lives somewhat. Therefore, we would appreciate the cooperation of one of the North City Guards. Find some dirt about one of them. It's unimportant what it is. As soon as we have a foothold, we'll convince him to cooperate. Bring me whatever you find. Alright, we're off the Venor now. This is an easy one, by the way. It's worth mentioning that the first mission in this Thieves Guild thing, getting the tusks, would cost you a decent amount of money. Um, assuming you could get the uh, the two tusks from like that quest... And then you bought the other ones. Uh, here on Amera, they're 5k a tusk. So you'd be spending 40k on that. And then all the other missions are just like pointless fetch, go here, waste your time quests. Um, and then the final one is actually difficult though. Now let me scroll down here a little bit. Alright. We are going all the way down here. <clears throat> Anyway, I bring up the uh, the school lunch things because uh, I actually, my parents used to get, first they got reduced lunches. So the way it worked was um, lunches were $2 a day, or reduced they were $0.40 cents a day. And then eventually we ended up getting free uh, lunches. Um, the reason why I bring all this whole thing up is because it was, it was only like recently actually when I was reading that article and was like, you know, I got free lunches in school too, that it occurred to me. I think my family was poor. 
Like it just it just occurred to me all of a sudden. I was like, yeah, we we might have been poor. All right, I think I just get this out of one of these dressers. You have found a compromising letter. It's a letter from Carlin proves that Arnold is a born bone crusher. There we go. Uh, I never really felt like I was poor. Uh, and in a sense, I, me specifically, wasn't. But uh, my mom got pregnant when she was still in high school when she was 17. And then she gave birth to me like a week and a half after her 18th birthday. Uh, we lived with my grandmother. Uh, and like I guess her sisters, my aunts. She eventually married uh, some guy when I was been in kindergarten. Yeah, she married this dude when I was in kindergarten. We lived in one town for two years, and then we moved to another town for six years? Seven years? Until she divorced. Moved back in with my grandmother for a year and a half. And then we moved up to Redneck Land, which I hated. After she got married. Uh, back to Thice. <clears throat> but yeah, I, I mentioned this because, you know, I guess we were poor. <laughs> Um, and it, it wasn't like it ne ever negatively impacted me specifically, but I do notice, I do like recall a couple of situations where it was like, when I lived with my grandmother, I always drank milk or juice and, um, like grape juice, apple juice, whatever. Uh, when we moved out after she got married, you never drank anything but water. Uh, obviously I was, like, really young at that point, but I had never eaten ramen noodles before that point, and it was ramen noodles all the time. Uh, things like, you know, hot dogs were, like, meals very often, and as a kid, I guess, like, hot dogs didn't bother me. Um, but we ate hot dogs a bunch. We had free lunches. And before we got the, like, reduced to the free lunches at school, yes. Excellent. That little letter will do the trick for sure. I think you're really capable, and if you finish another mission, I'll allow you full access to our black market of lost and found items. Just ask me for more about the mission. All right, that'll be another video. We're gonna we're gonna call it here. I'm actually gonna walk back to the depot for this though, or not the depot. Well, yeah, I'll drop my uh, thing off, and then I'll get to the uh, the trainers. Um, before though, I got the free lunches. Like lunch was always a like juice box. Um, and occasionally a juice box. Usually I just drank from the water fountain at school. A peanut butter and jelly sandwich with, like, less peanut butter than, like, a Reese's peanut butter cup has. And, like, the amount of jelly that you would get at a McDonald's jelly pack kind of situation. Um, in other words, practically none. <laughs> uh, and maybe, like, two cookies or something. Uh, <clears throat> the reason why I never personally felt like I was poor is because I still would go to my aunts and my grandmothers uh, on the weekends, and those two would always, like, provide me with things. So, like, I always had a toy or something or, like, a new video game. But I remember, like, as a kid, um, I wasn't allowed to have my own toys. So any toys that I brought home, I had to let my stepbrother and my stepsister play with them, even if, like, I was currently holding them. Uh, so, like, a whole bunch of my stuff got broken all the time, and it was always, like, traumatic for me. Uh, but yeah, so like I always got, uh, my aunt like provided me with new clothes and also like took me to the doctor and things like that. Kind of thing, she did a lot for me now that I think about it. But yeah, so going back to that is if my aunt and my grandmother had not been there, I would have been like ultra poor as a child and it never occurred to me until uh, re legitimately like recently. I haven't been living with my parents for like 11 years now and it's only like two days ago that I was like, huh. We were poor. Like, my parents were probably on food stamps. We had, like, one beat-up car, and then my grandmother had to, like, give money to my mom to get another car. We lived in, like, a dump of a house, and then we moved to a different dump of a house. I mean, I guess we had a house, which is nice. We could have been poorer, but we were definitely poor. And I never realized it until, uh, until recently. Anyway, folks, that's it for me. As always, uh, on that sort of depressing note, uh, like, favorite, comment, subscribe, check me out on Patreon. Actually, really check me out on Patreon because I'm poor and need cash. But also, I write additional commentary on all my videos, so check me out there, too, and Twitter. And now I'm done. And my throat hurts.